Hey nerds, Todd Simmons coming back at you with a little more Tautomation. Uh, today I want to talk about how to secure your um, sensitive items uh, inside Windows, but still able to use it in with Python. A lot of times we put API keys or passwords uh, directly in our Python code, and the, the problem with that is just not very secure. Uh, so today I want to show you how to use um, the Windows uh, environment uh, variables inside Python um, to kind of secure uh, your API keys, passwords, uh, or just any variable that you want to use that, that's common. So the first thing is uh, you're going to need administrator access to your Windows PC, and then uh, you're going to need you know an API. Uh, key or a, a password or, or something that, that you want to put into a variable and uh, then of course the name that you're going to want to use it um, not real difficult here uh, so I'm going to walk you through it but I'm going to leave this screen up here as well uh, just so you can kind of see the process uh, a couple of different ways that you can get to the system the easiest way is just to right click on it the uh, Windows button and left click on system and then it'll pop up. If you're if you don't have that for some reason, you can always go to the Windows key. You can go to Settings. When Settings comes up, you go to System, and then just make sure you go all the way down here to About, uh, and you're going to get to the. You'll see that it's the exact same place. Uh, doing it that way that it is as right clicking and left clicking on Systems. Once again, we want to just make sure that we're in About. Uh, once we get uh, into the system settings if you'll just scroll you'll get to this related settings section and you'll see something called advanced system settings now <clears throat> if uh, your PC or your company you know has the little make me admin button you'll want to click that before uh, you click that uh, advanced system settings so I'm gonna go ahead and make me an admin grant me administrator rights now when I click advanced system settings, it's going to ask me to log in. So just put your username and your password for your system. And then you're going to get this screen, this system property screen. This is where we're going to put all of our uh, variables that we want to use. Um, so we're going to click down here on environmental variables. That'll pop another screen. Uh, and this is going to have all of your environmental variables. Now I'm going to... Uh, use the user variables for T Simmons. That's me uh, on this PC. Uh, so I'm going to click new up here. Uh, when I click new up here, I'm going to give it the variable name. Now I'm going to be using my Meraki API key. So I'm going to do it in all caps. API key. That's going to be the name of my variable. Uh, the value associated with that variable is going to be my Meraki API key, obviously. Okay, so uh, once you've put that in, you're just going to click OK until you get all the way back to the About screen. Uh, once you've got back to that um, About screen, we're done. You set the variable. It's literally that simple. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we need to look at is how to make sure we can access it from Python. So I'm going to go ahead and close my settings screen here. Uh, and you'll see I have this very simple Python uh, file set up. Uh, and I'm going to use it to contact Meraki. So I, I want to show you that it does actually work. Um, I'm going to uh, have my API key, of course, blurred out. Um, but when I run this program, I'm looking to get the organization ID, which I do. And then I'm just going to print out the network uh, that I'm specifying uh, inside here, which you can see uh, is network is get automated. So my API call worked just fine, uh, but of course I've got my API key inside my Python file, which is not very secure. Uh, say you accidentally throw this on GitHub or something like that, uh, it could quite frankly be a disaster, uh, which is not what we want. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change this up and we're going to put this uh, as the called function. So if you look over here on the PowerPoint real quick, it's simple. You're going to have to use the import OS command, uh, which I have already put in here. 
Uh, and then it's going to be your Python variable equals os dot environ, which is short for environment dot get, uh, and then in parentheses and in quotes the variable that you're looking to get out of your system environment. Uh, and then my example is going to be quite literal. It's going to be the API key. So I am going to remove the quoted API key here now, uh, and I'm going to uh, use the example. So it's os environ.get and we're going to specify what I put in there which I'm now using this environmental variable which I named mine Meraki underscore API underscore key um, and that's the only thing that I've changed so just make sure that it runs and it did you might have a situation uh, when you do this if the first time that you put that in there it does not run uh, just close your vs code and then reopen your vs code or you know whatever uh, ide or interpreter that you're using for the python uh, you can open it and close it uh, and then try it again and it'll work because sometimes when it initially loads up that's when those variables are pulled in uh, so if you do have an issue with that, just make sure that you close uh, VS Code or PyCharm or whatever it is that, you, that you're using uh, and then reload it uh, to make sure that it actually has access to the particular variables that you just created. Well, that's it. Pretty quick video, uh, but uh, hopefully it's really going to help you out from, uh, you know, actually putting in some of that uh, information that you really don't want in there, passwords, usernames are, are fine, but you know, maybe you don't even want a username. So if you have an organization and you've kind of standardized some of these variables across the organization, it makes it real easy to share because they're not using your API key or your password uh, when running the code. So uh, that's it. Like, subscribe if you got any questions. I'd love to hear them. Talk to y'all later, nerds. Bye.